Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Grimgrad, which is a Slavic settlement builder game, and it does make sense to play this now because I've just got back from a little mini break to that very part of the world. So sort of central to Eastern Europe, that's that whole very big Slavic area, and we went to the Czech Republic and it was wonderful. It was really, really good. We had a lovely, lovely time, there was lots of good food and drink and everybody there was very friendly and helpful and polite, it was absolutely fantastic. So yeah, it now does seem quite appropriate to play a Slavic Slavic settlement builder game, having just visited those very Slavic lands. So we'll be doing all the regular settlement builder stuff, like building homes and farms and whatnot, we know all about that, but also we have to deal with a few of the different things. So there are random events to deal with, that's okay, we'll try and muddle through. Also the Slavic gods themselves might come and poke their noses in, so that could be quite tricky to handle, particularly if they're a bit of a grumpy god. And then also there are creatures from folklore. I'm not quite sure what that might entail, sort of pixies or elves or whatever. I do not know. Will they be a help? Will they be a hindrance? I'm not quite sure. So a very mixed bag of things for us to deal with as we try to build our settlement. So I think without any further ado, we should just get on with it, shouldn't we? Let's jump in and get building. Okay, okay, here we go. Welcome to the world, everybody. And of course, before we go and do anything else at all, we have to ask the all-important question. Is Spacebar pause? And yes, I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. Right, so with that now done, I think we go and take a little look around the map because it is quite a pretty map. There's a lot going on. It's not very big. It isn't a huge map, but there are lots of little kind of incidental details. I mean, right over there, look, there's one. There's a little sort of cart type thing just over here on that side of the river. Why is it there? I don't know who put it there. I'm not sure. And there's a little kind of thing over here. Is that for some sort of fishing thing, or is it some sort of boaty type device for, I don't know, unloading boats as they come along the river? I'm not quite sure. I don't know what that is, but I quite like the fact that it's there. So, yeah, the map is quite nice. Yeah, it's not very big, though. So, the main feature of the map, I would say, is that great big huge river running through the middle of it. So there's a big bit of river at the top, then there's a gigantic kind of waterfall thing, then a little bit of a river with some sort of stepping stone things, that's quite nice, and then another waterfall, and then it kind of just meanders off over in that direction, and that's the edge of the map over there. And then the rest of the map, I would say, is a lot of trees, so it's all surrounded by lots of trees, and then over here, there's like a nice flat bit where you can build. And initially I thought that was a path. I thought this thing here was a bit of a path and I was wondering why it was going to that rock. I was thinking it was a bit weird that there was a path that kind of made its way all the way along the map and then led to a bit of rock over here. But no, if we unpause time a little bit, we can see that's not a path, it's a little stream type thing. It's a little sort of tiny stream, and these are bridges of sorts. They're kind of ways to get across the stream, so that's quite nice as well. Little sort of pretty stream type thing running through. Got some slightly greener stuff over here, so maybe that's good for growing crops on. Maybe that's better soil, I don't know. And then, yeah, just loads of trees. Loads of trees and rocks over here. Some more random bits over here, look. Little sort of cart and broken things and various other bits and bobs, which I think is trying to say that we're not the first people to try to settle here. Other people have been here before us. What happened to them, I do not know. And also, this is intriguing. Up here, look, there's kind of a little sort of mountainy bit. Up here, right on the top of this sort of random outcrop type thing, is a perfectly working windmill, just right up there, which is a bit of a weird place for a windmill, and then a very broken building. Now, I wonder if we can somehow get up there and kind of maybe repair the windmill and claim that. I think that building might be slightly beyond repair. I think possibly we might need more than just a lick of paint to make that quite good, but I wonder if we can get up there the only thing is to get up there, we have to go across not one, but two rickety bridges. There's a rickety bridge there, and there's a rickety bridge there. So I'm not entirely sure we can get over there. But if we can't, why are those things there? Why is there a perfectly working windmill there if we can't get up there? I don't know. But there we go. So yeah, it's quite a pretty map. There's a lot going on. So I think we have to kind of set up over here. Nice and open and flat near to rocks and trees and that kind of farmy bit over there. So what have we got going on? So right now we have 50 logs and that's it. We have nothing else, nothing else going on, just a great big pile of logs. So of course we have no population and no workers and there's no water supply, no sanitation, no fire safety and no residents health because of course we have nothing going on at all. Our current quest is to build a 
Kutor, a Kutor. I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that, but I think that's the upgraded form of our first building that we put down, like the sort of the settlement center type thing. So I think we have to do what we can to get our first building upgraded to become a Kutor, and then we get another quest possibly. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, we have to get to 80 population to get to that point. So, okay, let's get building, shall we? So down here, we've got all the different things. The first thing we have to do is a leader's tent the first building of any settlement that stores starting resources. Okay, so let's get that down first. And if we're going to be building, if we're going to be making use of sort of the meadowy bit over here and the trees over there and rocks over here and here, it will make sense to kind of put that in the middle. So I think we'll pop that in over there, look. And then, because roads are good, and that's saying it needs a road, I think we then get a road all around it, like a little sort of ring road thing. So whatever angle you're coming to the sort of uh, tent from, you can get to a little road, which should make life a bit easier. So there we go. Got a little kind of tent set up and you know, it looks quite nice as a sort of a pot of something outside, some sort of, I don't know, food on the go, sort of bubbling away, little kind of transporty wagony thing, covered bit over there. So yeah, that's quite nice, lots of details. So now of course we have to get some people in. So let's go now. So now all these things have opened up, look. So settlers plots, that's what we want. So it's gonna cost five logs to get a few of these in. So I think initially, do we get maybe four in or possibly six? Let's get six of these in. So I think what we'll do is, so rotate it around. Now, when we put this down, it, the, it's gonna look like that. The little sort of building blueprint thing looks like a proper building. We're not going to get to that quite yet. We're not going to get to a proper building. It's going to take a while. I think, though, if we put them... Let's put them over here, look. So we'll have one like that. Rotate it around. So the front's going to face in that way. So one like that. One there and one there. I quite like that. And then get a road coming along like that. And then do we get another two here? But then we kind of have a road going around the end if we do that. Okay, so connect that up like that. That's okay. And then maybe... Do you know what we'll do? We'll have some more over here. Let's have another, yeah, like that. Rotate, rotate, okay. A bit like that. Right, I quite like that, so bring that in. And there we go, so eight homes. Now, I'm not quite sure how many people live in those homes, so let's move time on and find out. So eventually, some people will move in. It'll take a while. See, so yeah, at the moment, it's going, hey, there's oh, no conditions for migration. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what the problem is. So I thought because we've got that, people would move in. So click uh, click to center on the problem. Yeah, I know that. Um, so that's what we've got to do. That's what we've got to do. We've got to upgrade the leader tent. So I think it goes to a headman's house and then possibly a kutor or something upgrades to that, I think. It's not a building we build directly. So at the moment, we've got some logs and that's kind of it. So I think maybe as well, people are going to need water. Let's maybe get some of the basic facilities in. So if we click on one of these, we'll see, oh, it's not built yet. That's a bit of a nuisance. Okay, here we go. Look, here's some people kind of just appearing out the rocks, but that's fine. So eventually they'll move in. Okay, that's good news. Pause time for a second. So now we can click on one of those. A basic shelter suitable for peasants. So five people live in that little kind of tenty building. That's okay. It needs 20 units of water a day and three units of food per day. And at the moment, we don't have either of those things, which is a bit of a problem. And a little bit like uh, games like Anno, for example, if you give them water and food, they'll then upgrade. The building will upgrade from a little tent to something possibly a little bit less shabby. And then, you know, they'll do more stuff, more people can live there. And it's generally a better building for everybody. So we want to get some water sorted. So now we should have to put a well, I think. So there we go. It's going to cost eight. Eight wood. Okay, we're going to need to get a lumberjack hut in. We need to get some more logs in. So let's get a lumberjack hut before we run out of money. Um, so it's got to go in the green areas. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Where's going to be the best place for that? Oh, crikey. Okay, it's going to have to go quite a long way. Um, if we put that over here, look. So it's relatively nearby. So pop that there and then get us a road, because it's got to be connected. Okie doke. Right, so eventually people will work in there. There we go. So they venture into the woods to provide a steady supply of logs. Very handy indeed. So somebody, there we go. No, somebody's now over here, and they're going to do some choppity chopping off. I mean, weirdly the air right there. Ooh, 
hello, there's uh, there's a fox next to you. Or I hope it's a fox. Not something a little bit more angry, but okay. So, they're choppity chop in the air. There's somebody else. Okay, so I think for now, what we do is we go to here and we get us a well. Right, the wells have to go on the blue bits because that's where there is water that you can you know, dig a well down to and sort of you know, sink a well at. So how about we put one there and the other one up there when we can. How much is it? Three. Okay, so one like that. And then, follow it up the road, one like that. That should be okay. But now we're lacking water, lacking logs, I think. So move time on, the wells just appear. See, nothing kind of gets built in this game. Nothing gets built, it's not like a building timer. You put a building down and it just sort of magically pops up. And now, look at that. It's providing two jobs and somebody's working here providing water. So they go to the well and they you know, ship the water around and clean it and what have you. And there is one of our people. It's a woman carrying water. <laughs> that is precisely what it is. It's a fine description. Okay, so they're just now delivering water to all the people over there, which is good. I'm not quite sure why they're not moving in. I don't know why they're moving. Oh, maybe it's a lack of food. Possibly a lack of food might be an issue. So now we need to get some food in. So the moment, yeah, no food. So either fish or some sort of grain. I mean, I'm thinking at the moment some fish would probably be a bit better because it's more immediate, isn't it? A cereal field is also eight. It's eight logs. Fisherman houses, five logs. Okay, right. So run time on a bit quicker. And I think, yeah, we can just sort of move it on. Is it going like that? But yeah, yeah, there we go. Look, times three speed flying through. So if we get okay, five logs. Okay, so get us a fisherman's house. And we'll put that, uh, we'll pop that like that, look. So it's not too far away. Get us a road. The roads are magic and free, which is brilliant. So there we go. And now somebody should work over there. So three people. And there we go. When they get to the top, they're going to generate three fish, which is enough for one house. So is it possibly worth getting another one of those in? Two logs are now, four logs are in. So if we could get one of you to just grab us some more logs, I'm a little bit concerned about the fact they're gonna chop down all the trees over there. And then there's going to be no supply of logs. Have we got a sort of a, a planting thing? Or do we just need to effectively pick that up when it's done and you know knock it down and then rebuild it somewhere else? I suspect that's how that's going to work, isn't it? But okay, so we've got a very basic supply of food coming in. So four fish. However, what is that now? So I think that's basically saying people's health is coming down by the look of it. Ah, here we go. Pause time. Without barbers, your people get sick and wander the streets, infecting other residents. Sick individuals refuse to work. Okay, so now we need a barber. So yeah, barbers going to look after people. They're going to keep people clean and, you know, clean their hair and make them all nice. So I think, can we get a barber? Where are they? Just there. There we go. So um, two workers and yeah, five logs. Okay, we can build this. Yeah, they sort of act as like a surgeon. Back in ye olden times, they were like your go-to person, weren't they? So, um, yeah, if we say per... I mean, why don't we put them next to the well? So you could nip and get some water and then also get your hair cut at the same time. That'd be good. So pop a barber just there. Now, hopefully, that will stop that from coming down too much because now we've got two barbers... That is still coming down a little bit. Okay, hang on. What's that then? So now we've got a problem. Oh, no, hang on. That's gone back up. Resident health has ticked up. Sanitation, however, is still a little bit of a problem. Okay, so I did see over here a cesspit. Hooray! A dedicated place to store night soil, preventing contamination. Okay, so now the current problem is unpleasant. It, it's, it's a poopy problem. It's a bit of a smelly problem. We need somewhere to store all of the poops. So how about we grab that and we, what was that? Desirability for six CLS. Is that six cells possibly? Um, if we just sort of took that over here possibly. So put that over there. Imagine that, yeah, we can cross the river on that. So if we just put that on the other side of that, drop that in and then get a little road connecting that up. This is going to be a, a grim job, 
I do apologise to whoever's got to go and work at the cesspit. But there we go. So somebody's got a little kind of uh, a little cart. The, the poop wagon. The poop wagon is on the way. Worry not, folks. And it's going to go around each place and just you know, pick up all the waste and then chuck it back over there. Okie doke. We're working through this. This is fine. So that's now ticking up. That's pretty good. Okay. Right, so it's a bit less kind of horrible and whiffy around here. People are feeling a bit healthier. They're getting their hair cut. They're, you know, getting all the lice and stuff out. They're having a good wash. And, yeah, they're just generally being looked after by the barber. Right, okay, happy with that. So what else do we need? Um, a cereal field would be a good idea. And we do have 18 logs now. So how is that going to work? Ah, here we go. Here we go, 50% efficiency. 48% uh, efficiency, 48.5. So over here, oh, okay, it's really good down here. But then it is very, very, very far away from the rest of the settlement. But, I mean, look at that. That's 98, 99% efficiency. Um, now, I don't know how this works exactly. Do we put that down and then designate stuff? like fields from around this i'm not entirely sure what we'll do right now is uh how many workers have we got we've got 14 workers out of the 20 people that live here so we've only got six jobs left um i wonder um does that cap our population possibly do we need to upgrade that we need hides stone uh, whatever that is, logs and some sort of clay. Okay, um, I'm wondering why people aren't moving in over here. Why are they not moving in? No conditions for migration. And they've got water, and they've got food, and they've got everything else. I'm not quite sure what they do want. I mean, a hunter might be quite good. Uh, built near the woods, hunters provide the community with animal skins. So that ah, that's one of the things we need to do this. That's one of the things we need. Okay, so maybe we do that. Mason houses for stone. That requires animal skins. Okay, so we're going to need to get one of these in. But I kind of feel like we have to sort our own thing out first. So let's make sure that we've got everything done first. So a cereal field. I mean, do we just put one over here for now? 50% efficiency. And eventually, we could relocate them all down here and make them super efficient. But I think for now... We put one over here because it's quite near. Down here's a little bit remote, isn't it? So if we put one there, that's okay. Get us a lovely road just to connect up a bit like that. Wonderful. Right, so who's going to work down here? Yeah, that that's it. It's just a teeny tiny little kind of plot over there. Okay, that's fine. With a scarecrow. A little scarecrow is there. That's quite fun. So that's going to make six cereals. The only thing is now we only have two workers left and those people are not moving in and i'm not 100 percent sure why they're not moving in because i think everything sort of looks okay maybe maybe they need fire safety if we cover all the basic things off there is a fire station uh, but it does need five workers and we haven't got five workers we've got two left 20 people live here um there's 40 living space uh, 5, 10, 20. Oh, yeah. Okay, up there, yes. So there's the 40 space there. Um, food at home. Food at home. Ah, we need a market. We need a market to allow people to take goods home. Okie dokie. Right, get a market, put it in the middle, and that's the two workers we've got left. So hopefully this is going to get some expansion stuff underway. There's a little bit of a contamination threat there. So it's possibly a little bit whiffy over in um, over at the Fisherman Hut, but that's fine. Right, so now they should be able to go over to the market and take some stuff out of here. So at the moment there's nothing in here. Oh, weather change. Stribog's wind gusts fiercely, then subsides as abruptly as it came, leaving behind a change in the weather. Okay. So the weather's changed. Building contamination rate plus 15%. Grain ripening rate plus 20%. Fishing efficiency down by 20%. Botherations. Okay, so we're going to get some more grain, but we're not going to get as much fish. Okay, fine. So it, it's a bit rainy. That's what I'm getting from this. It's a little bit unpleasant in terms of weather, but okie doke. Um, that house is now getting a bit low. Well, bit, yeah, low on that thing, but they've upgraded. Okay. 
these buildings are upgrading and now we can have more people so more people should hope there we go more workers and they've moved in okay right this is glorious apparently there's no there's not enough wood there should be some people working there yeah there's people working there um okay maybe the people carrying the waters haven't got round to those houses yet i assume that's what's going on but they just need to get round to here and just, you know, get some water out. Are you coming around? There we go, look, sorted. Okay, we might have a little bit of a problem with that building there. So that's one of the upgraded tents. It's gone to a hut, which is fancy warm housing suitable for workers. But if I unpause time, it's going a little bit weird. There's like weird red wibbly stuff coming out of it. And I'm not quite sure what that's about. So perhaps we need to get another barber. Maybe that's what we need. So I think you've got plenty of resources to go and build one. So if we get another barber in, I mean, if we put one up there, look, or do we put one there, look? So maybe, maybe that barber is too overworked. So possibly if we put another barber, uh, I don't quite know where the front is, but that'll do. So pop another barber in over there, which means hopefully they'll sort that out. And then also they're lacking grain. Okay. So we can't get grain to those. So I think possibly we need to get some more farms going on. So let's get some more cereal fields in. So yeah, 50% efficiency. That's rubbish efficiency. That's 50. And we can't build another one. Oh, because we're out of um, we're out of logs. Okay, right. That's completely fine. That makes sense. Right, so build that round there. Okie doke. So people are now working in there. That's all good. We should soon have a decent supply of grain. And we do have a sizable number of people still able to go and do some jobs, which is helpful. Uh, ah, that thing sorted itself out. So that's now not as sort of unhealthy. But now we need some more water going on. So hopefully we can get that done. I think we can upgrade all the buildings. Ah, that's upgraded. Okay, so all the tents are upgraded to huts, which is good. Uh, and more people are pouring in. Okay, this is good and bad. This is good and bad. So we've got more people to do more jobs, but of course more people is more demands, more food, everything else. Right, I think what we have to do is get us... Oh no, we need some more logs. Okay, Lumberjack Hut, we need some more logs. Um, Where can we get some of those from? In hindsight, we possibly should have built maybe... It's hard to say actually, because that's good for farming. Maybe more down here. So we can get over here but there we go never mind we didn't and that's fine and we're going to put you there near to the unpleasant cesspit and then hopefully you can get us some more stuff you can get some more trees because we need logs we need lots of logs we need lots of fish uh, and then we need the cesspit that should then hopefully sort that out because yeah sanitation is looking low i would say sanitation is looking bad water supply also looking bad right okay We've got enough to build another cesspit. It's not pleasant over this part of the world, but you know, it's important. So another cesspit, they can deal with more more you know, poopage. That's all fine. That's got to be done. It's what happens. Right. So that's good. Got some grain, got some fish, got some logs. They're going to sort that out. Market's looking good. That's got logs in. It's got cereals in. People can get their cereals. Okay. Right. Can we build another one of those? Can we get another one of those in? How much do we need? So eight logs to build another cereal field. Although I think possibly another fisherman house might possibly be a better option. We'll pop that in like that and just sort of do that. They've got double road over there because they're fancy. You can you can turn around there. You can sort of, you know, turn around rather than to reverse your cart about, you know, do parallel sort of parks, whatever. You can just turn it around. Little kind of turning point for your cart. Um... Okay, those are now coming down in terms of in terms of health. Okay, how many people have we got? 72 population, 38 of workers. I think another two wells would not go amiss. So a well there, that's got to be good. And then maybe a well up the top over here. But in fact, can we put one right round there? A well just there just to get more water out to people because that does seem to be a bit of a problem. Right, they're coming along here. This is good, we're doing well. And now, I think, what's that do? A guard post that determines who may or may not use a particular road. Okay, not so bothered about that really. I think now we have to try to look, I mean, hang on, fire safety. We need a fire station, that's what we need. 
We need a fire station. Uh, we also possibly... Yeah, they're taking wood for themselves, aren't they? Because they need wood to, I should say, burn, to, you know, keep warm and whatever. So we are needing quite a lot of wood now. So possibly getting another lumberjack hut in would not be a bad call. So possibly get another one a bit further down. Just pop one there. I know they are a bit far away, but that's just the way of things, isn't it? Little turning circle thing. That's fun. Right. Okay. So hopefully that can provide lots of logs. Got loads of cereals, loads of fish. That's good news. And 10 logs. Okay, so we're building up on that. So now, fire prevention. Let's get ourselves a little fire station. We just put that in over there. And then we can have a teeny tiny fire station, which effectively is... It looks like another well, but with a, with a bell. It's a well with a bell. And some little kind of barrelly things. Okay, right. No, that's fine. That's okay. Uh, water is a problem up there. Fire is a problem up there. But we're trying to work on it. There's a bit of uh, smell over here as well, possibly. But again, we're sort of we're on it. We're trying our best to sort this out. It's just taking a little while to get it done. I mean, maybe. Do we get another? We're gonna have a lot of people working in cesspit technology. But do we put another one up here? Do we pop one of those just that we're gonna put one there? Just to make it a little bit nearer so they can get over here nice and quick. So hopefully, yeah, there we go, look. It is being sorted out. Uh, and we've got, what's that? Population migration. Okay. Ah, right. So housing is looking good. Food is looking good. But work is not looking great. If you have fewer jobs than available workers, new residents will see little reason to show up. Um, oh, okay. Oh, no. That's gone back down. That's un unupgraded itself. It's degraded itself. Oh, okay. That's unfortunate, but it'll come back up in time. It'll come back up. Somebody will go and grab a uh, grab a haddock or something in a bit and a bit of grain, and they'll all be fine. Okay, so I'll let time run on a teeny tiny bit, and we have gathered quite a lot of wood, so we can do some building. So let's get another fire station. Put that in over there, possibly. So now that's got another five people doing fire prevention stuff. That should hopefully keep that at bay. So got a couple of barbers to look after health. We've got many, many cesspits for sanitation. Water supply should be okay. And we've still got a good number of people that can go and do more jobs. So now let's look at other jobs that we haven't quite got. So at the moment, everything now needs hides. So we need to get some hunter huts in to gather some hides from the wood. So I'm very sorry, Fox friends but you might possibly, possibly be in a spot of bother in a second. So if we put a hunter there and then put a hunter over there, that means that we can gather some hides. And then hides means we can do upgrades and everything else, which is good. So right, run time on pretty quickly. Now we're on the faster it can go. Okay, so they're getting all that sorted. So we should see at some point soonish some hides coming in. And I am thinking as well, could we get a storehouse over here and we can just store some things in it which could be quite handy so put the hang on we put that there put the storehouse in then get a road running up along here go round the poop pit and there we go right so now we can put things in here as well which is good so we can store stuff in there and we can store stuff in here and that's fine so yeah 10 hides 10 stone Five planks, I imagine that is, and then eight bits of clay. So we're not quite at that point just yet, but we're not looking too far off. We've got some hides coming in. So I think now we have to use that to build other things. So Mason's house is eight logs. Got plenty of logs now and three hides. Got 12 hides. So I think yeah, if we get a Mason's house, um, required area stone. Are they not stones? They look stony to me but okay oh it's got to be down here oh okay right so i think then if we put you just there and then get a road connecting you up you can now go and just do some stone gathering so then we will have some stone coming in got some hides then we need clay and we need planks but also i think we might need to get some more people in we need some more population. I mean, that's not very helpful. That's going to come down. That's a little bit naff. Do we need another market? Do we need another market? There is a priorities thing. Where's where's that? 
We've got all these things here, grace of the gods and that kind of stuff. So yeah, building idols and stuff. We can build idols. We're not quite to that point just yet. Um, yeah, edicts. We need Hedman's house. We need to upgrade that. And we can start issuing edicts to people. Um, ah, there you go. Worker priorities. So logistics is first, then foodstuffs, then material. And yeah, hang on. Logistics services, foodstuffs, then materials. That's what we want. Logistics is important. We want them to move things around. But there you go. That building's back up again, which is good. So now more people can move in. And I think they have. So I think we might need to get just a little smattering of houses in. Let's put one there and one there. There we go. So they will hopefully see so yeah, people are running in. They'll upgrade pretty quickly. Right. Got some more people. There we go. Oh, Samargal. Hello, Samargal. You're a winged red wolf or something? Hello, you look adorable. Who's a good boy? Ah, don't bite me. Uh, okay, you're doing great. Let's make the settlement even bigger and better. Okay, so I think now we've got to the eight. Oh, oh no. So builder, whatever that first thing was, is what the current, I mean, it's not a settlement or the little sort of place is called. It's not an upgraded version of that. It's, it's the size of it. Oh, okay, so now... We need to get to a population of 140 to become an actual proper settlement. Okie dokie, I see. Um, right, so got some extra people. Fish is looking a bit low. So how about we get some more fish? That would be quite good. Um, pop that there, look. That's another fisherman hut. Just put a bit of road at the back. Wonderful. Right, okay, so that should bring in lots of fish. Got some stone, got some hides. Got loads and loads of logs now possibly we get rid of that lumberjack hut down there for hang on now uh, i know the trees are growing back so that one is still providing a steady supply of things so how about we get rid of that because that'll free up three other workers so get rid of that that's fine and get rid of that bit of road down there as well and that bit there right okay because we've got 214 logs that's quite a lot of logs um okay so now what else can we start building uh, do we need to possibly... Oh, hang on. What's that? What's that? Contamination. Oh. Oh, hang on. The sanitation is not looking good. Oh. Oh, dear. Right. Okay. Possibly. Do we need another... We can't need another cesspit. We can't need another one of those. We've already got three. Get, good grief, everybody. Okay. Do you know what? We're going to tuck it over there. And then we're going to connect that up with the road. And we're just going to tell people not to go that way. We'll do that as well to connect it down there. And then possibly, and I was going to say we're going to get some more grain, but we've got loads of grain. We've got so much grain. Also water. Water is also looking a bit low. Why is water looking so low? We should have loads of people doing loads of these basic jobs. Maybe get another barber in, put them next to that well, and then get another well... Although that doesn't help overly, does it? Put another well uh, next to that well? Or is that a bad idea? Put another well just there. And then there's a well. There's a fire thing over there. How about we put another well uh, up here? Just there. That'll do. So we've got plenty more wells going on. So another cesspit thing to go and gather the, the poop. Uh, water's okay. So everything's looking okay. I think we're looking okay. It's just a case of getting everything sorted out. So yeah, these places, a little bit unhealthy, but at some point soon they'll pop over to a barber's and it'll all be fine. In fact, do we get another barber in? Just to really make sure that people are feeling healthy. There we go. We've popped another one in. So hopefully that will sort the health out. We'll sort the horrible sanitation problems out as well. That building not overly helping, but we'll get it done. Um... Yeah, where are, where are the poop wagons? There we go. There's a poop wagon. Okay, no, you're going the wrong way. Oh, no. Okay, another poop wagon's picked it up. It's all fine. It's all fine. It's all good in the world of the poops. Okay. So, now we need to look over here. Good for grain. Good for fish. That's all looking good. Um, I think, then, we get... I mean, we could get a sawmill. Sawmill would take the logs, turn them into the planks which is what we need to do that upgrade and then we need clay by the look of it so where's that exactly i want to get an apiary there we go clay pit i want to get an apiary in because there are bees and bees is brilliant um okay so clay pit 
got to go over here. Goodness me, it's quite big. Uh, okay, can we put it there? Required area water. I mean, that, there is water there, game. Just because it's on the edge doesn't mean there isn't any water. Okay, now you're just being fussy. You're being fussy, game. Um, do you know what? We could put it there. Can we pop it? No, oh, no, not there. We'll put it here, look. So if we drop that in like that, and then get a road coming across like that, that's got to be a good thing. So now we can start gathering some clay. All of our kind of basic sort of, you know, quality of life metrics are looking pretty good. Happy with that. And we need to get another 50 people in. That's going to be quite the challenge. How about for now, just add one more little house in. Just add them a little bit. Don't do a great big kind of, you know, block of houses. Because that is a recipe for disaster, I would say. If we get, uh, I don't know, maybe put one there for now. So hopefully some people will appear out of nowhere. Out of the ether. And just run over here. Yay! Right, they need water, they need food, all that stuff. So they will slowly start upgrading, which is good. So more people moving in. Uh, right, so we've got clay coming in. We've gathered ten clay. Now I think we have to go and get ourselves, where are we? A sawmill. Okie doke. So that can go anywhere by the look of it. Let's put that over here. Because I imagine it's going to be a little bit noisy. You know, the noise of saws. So we're going to put that over there kind of out the way. That's fine. So in not too long at all, we should have enough to upgrade our leader's tent. Upgrade that into a fancy new headman's house. And then we can start doing edicts and things. And then possibly we can start doing something here with the grace of the gods. So yeah, building idols and edicts during feasts and offerings will improve the gods' attitude toward you. This will grant you blessings, while neglect will bring divine wrath upon you. The larger population, the more demanding the gods will be. Okay, so who do we have? We've got, uh, I don't know how you say these properly, but Ziva, or Jiva possibly, life and fertility. She's got a bunny rabbit. Then we've got Mara, death and harvesting. Okay, yeah, you look a bit pale. Um, good, good headgear though. I like that though. Zvarog. Okay, flame and hammer. You ought to be kind of building and you've got a nice kind of hammer. And then Veles, tree and cattle. And you are wearing a fine, fine thing there. A little bit scary looking. Also, good beard going on. But, right. Okay. And we can now upgrade this. Although, grain is looking... Oh yeah, we need the market, don't we? Hang on, hang on. Let's get another market place. Because I think maybe that one is being... Is that being a little bit kind of... Where's all the cereal? The cereal's all in the leader tent. Um, okay, can we build... If we upgrade this... Hang on, we're just going to press upgrade. Okay, upgrade that building. It's now a headman's house. Okay, not enough workers. So, one job out of one. Oh, I kind of wanted... I kind of wanted it to be, like, you know, sorting out movement of goods and things. Because... That's not got any cereal in it. And I kind of want... I want to build another market and to load that up with cereal as well. Uh, okay, so we'll give it a go. We'll put that there. Another market can go in. So we've got 91 population, 88 workers. That's a little bit of a bother. So we are going to need at least another house. So let's go and get another settler plot in. We'll pop that there. Uh, no conditions to move in. Oh, okay, right, hang on a minute, hang on. It's all fine, it's all fine. People will move in eventually. It's all going to be fine. So, yeah, housing, we've got some housing, that's upgraded. People are going to upgrade, yeah, it's all good. Right, so, HA people, HA workers, they're all running in. All right, 103 population, 88 workers. Now got some more sort of uh, capacity there. Uh, yeah, got we've got loads of resources. We're just not moving them around. What does that do? Uh, redistribute cereals. Yeah. Okay. Take them out of there and put... Oh, yes. Loads in there. Redistribute the cereals into where they're supposed to go. Because that does seem to be the big problem at the minute. That is the big issue. Right. Okay. Did that person just leave? Are you leaving? And you're coming in? Are you hunting? Oh, okay. That's fine. Hello. Uh, right. What do we need now? That's upgraded. So, with that done, can we now... Just slow time down to sort of normal speed. Uh, edicts. What can we do here then? So, we've got... Oh! Are we going to start gathering gold? 
are we going to now start gathering exciting gold because we've got a fancy kind of house? And I did notice here, when we clicked on it, it said storage resources and allows the collection of taxes. Okay, do we need to build some sort of tax office or whatever? Is that what we do? Iron mine, crockery workshop. Ah, we could build these. We could start building idols to the gods. That would be exciting. But also, oh, a fairground. I want to build a fairground because that sounds fun. Um, Yeah, how do we get, how do we go and get money? Because I can't see gold anywhere. I can't see anything to do with gold. And we're not gathering gold from here. So I'm not quite sure how we acquire gold from you lot. How do we do that exactly, game? Where do we go? What do we press? Um, I'm not really sure. There are other things. I mean, we could. We could get an apiary in because they're brilliant. And we could just put it over here, look. Um, yeah, we can't build over here. So we'll put that over there because bees are brilliant. Bees are the best animal. And we all know this to be true. So we'll put that like that. And now we can have some bees, which is fun. So we can get some mead. Oh, honey. Okay. So collecting honey for mead. Right. So now do we need to build some sort of like a, a brewery or a meadery or whatever the wording would be? There's loads of things. A meadery. There we go. We can't build those because we require hammers. Okay. So hammers would be made in some sort of smithy, I imagine. Yes. Okay. Right. We've got quite a lot to do, but it's looking okay. The only thing is, yeah, where's the money come from? Where do we get cash? Because all these edict things require money. And we don't have any money just yet. We don't, unless we pick it up at the end of the week or something. And we can do these though. Conduct ritual bathing and cleansing of dwellings. Okay, so water consumption rate will go up massively. But disease rate and fire risk comes down. Or hold a fair to attract new residents. Okay. So food is going to go up, but people are going to come in. I think we do the cleansing thing. Oh, raise taxes. That's what we want to do. So yeah, tax collection rate goes up by 50%, but people are going to gather things a little bit less effectively because they're a bit grumpy about that. Um, I think for now, uh, I mean, when, are we doing anything? Are we gathering any taxes at all? Because I thought gold would appear up here, but I think let's do the ritual cleansing thing and hope that the water holds. So do that. That's now active, is it? Um, yeah. Issue that decree. Okay. There's a little fancy bathhouse type thing. Okay. So now I think just to make sure that everything's going to be okay, we get ourselves a couple of extra wells because we're going to have an extra demand on that. So put a well over there and then pop another one just there next to the other one. So just get four more people, I think that is, moving water around. So for six days, hopefully that should cope. Um, and now let's see if we can get some money in possibly. I would like one of you lot to kind of, oh no, oh, okay, hang on a minute, hang on. Mara's pointy sort of arrow there is going toward the red. Does that mean they are going to bring divine wrath upon you? Oh dear. Uh, right, okay, that's that's probably quite bad. Okay, we might possibly have some divine wrath enacted upon us momentarily by, who was it? Mara, the god of death and harvesting. I mean, that's going to be quite bad, isn't it? The god of death being grumpy with you is generally not a positive thing. Okay, rather than just building loads more individual buildings, why don't we try to upgrade the ones we already have? So the huts are looking pretty good. That one is very lovely. It's got not much in the way of a smell. Everyone's healthy and there's a very low fire risk. I think the higher the numbers are, the better it is possibly. So that's looking okay. Uh, they've got water supply. That's fine. However, they would like some quality food at home. So yeah, they're okay with the grain and the fish, but they would like meat and they'd like bread. Okay, and then also they would like increased desirability. I'm not quite sure how we do that. Does that help? Ah, the fairground. The fairground. But to build a fairground, we need bread and also we need some sort of clothing going on. Okay, so I think what we do is let's get us a bakery. The bakery is going to consume weirdly it's going to consume grain and fish are we making fish bread but okay so a bakery that can then start making bread so that's going to be good so how about we put that down here 
Um, they haven't got any grain. I mean, there should be plenty of grain around the place, or cereals, whatever it is. There should be plenty. There should be loads. We've told you to redistribute them. Ooh, a marvel of engineering. Somehow the workers on your most recent project discover they have a stack of extra parts after construction is complete. That happens whenever I build IKEA furniture. Always got leftover bits. It's like, what's this bolt thing for? Ah, we probably don't need it. The building still functions perfectly without them, but you suspect the workers could not repeat this experience soberly. What are they drunk on? What are they drunk on? Are they making their own kind of, I mean, some sort of grain thing? They've got grain. I suppose, yeah, they could be distilling the grain, making some sort of moonshine. Okay, so we've got loads of logs back and some stone. Okay, good job, folks. Well done. Right, so we have a bakery. So that is going to start making cereals and fish. It might be worth getting a storehouse in over here just to store a few bits and bobs. So get that in. That's going to be handy. Move time on pretty quickly. Hopefully they can go and get some grain. They've got a little bit of grain. Go and get some more grain, you fools. It, literally the market's there. Or the thing is here. So, I mean, yeah, there's loads of grain in there. Can we determine where it goes? No. Uh, okay, cereals, redistribute to where it's supposed to go, please. There we go. Yeah, look down here, look. They are sorting out eventually. Not quite sure why that house is struggling with grain. Um, okay, I'm not quite sure, but hopefully they'll sort that out. But, I mean, everything else is ticking over okay. But now we've got bread. Oh, they've got, they've downgraded. Boo, we're trying to upgrade the houses, not downgrade them. Okay, so we've got a bakery. We are now making, oh, it's a fish pie. They're making fish pie. It's not just bread. It's, oh, ovens in which your bakers produce fish pies. Okay. I will admit I'm very surprised. It's not just bread. It's fish pies. Mara is furious. Oh, dear. Okay. Right. Uh, sorry. Yep. Yeah, she's getting very grumpy. Very bad at harvesting. I'm not quite sure what we do to make you happy. What can we do? What can we do? Uh, building idols. Oh, hang on. Right. Do we need to build an idol to Mara? Can we build one? Yes, we can. We can build Mara's idol. It consumes fish and it consumes meat. Okay, we're going to have to do something about the meat. Um, let's build that. I mean, in the middle here would be good. It's near a lot of the houses. Let's pop that in. Okay, we have an idol to Mara. Looks a little bit sinister, as you would expect, but okie dokie. Right, so has that now made her less grumpy with us? Um, somebody is going to have to offer some fish and meat to that thing. Do I have to do that? Do I need to tell you to go and do that? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Um, okay. I think we might also need to go and gather. Hang on, not right now. Run time on nice and quick. Let's get time ticking on. Uh, those burners have gone big. They're a house. They have upgraded because they have the fish thingamajigs, the fish pies, whatever they are. Oh, that's exciting. However, we also do need to get ourselves. Where is it? There's a pig farm somewhere. A pigsty. Oh, ah, it's undesirable. Okay, so people aren't going to go and want to work near this. So this is where all the undesirable stuff goes, kind of out the way. So pop it. I mean, let's put it over here, actually, so it's a bit near. So put that there, pigsty over there, that can then generate meat. And then the meat can go over here, and the meat can be redistributed to other people's houses. Okay, we are... Str those houses are kind of get going up, going, yay, it's great, and then we're struggling. Oh, okay. Although these new lands are not abundant in resources, a good manager will be able to attract new settlers. Okay. Oh, we've gone up to... Oh, we've, we've become a settlement. We're now a settlement. Okay, the next job, build a village. 250 people. We need another 100 people to come in. That's quite a lot. That's a big ask, isn't it? That's quite a big job. If they upgraded, that'd be okay. That'd be 9 up to 15. So what's that? Another 6 people. So that's 6, 12, 18, another 30 people would come from that. But we still need a massive pile of people. Okay. So, I don't, well, they'll just hopefully upgrade themselves anyway. But yeah, I've got a problem here with they are lacking the resources for the current standard of living. Okay, so yeah, they've not got the fancy. Oh, we need clothing. We need clothing. Okay, hang on a second. There was a weaving workshop. There we go. So, if we get a weaving workshop, 
which is massive. We'll put that in over there, look. So that can start making clothing, but they're going to need to put some hides in there first. And that means we're going to be going through hides a little bit quicker. So possibly get ourselves another hunting hut. Um, yeah, pop that there. That'll do. Don't hunt the pigs. Somebody's looking after those. That's all fine. Um... Yeah, okay. I think that should be okay. I fear these houses are going to downgrade themselves because they've not got the basics. But hopefully, hopefully as we get this sorted, we start making some clothes, we should be okay. Fire. Fire risk is... Yeah, we are expanding a bit and I'm not putting in fire stations. Hang on a second. Um, pop a little fire station over there. Possibly pop another one down there. Have we got enough people? I've got plenty of people for workers. Got another 20-odd people. That's brilliant. Okay, right. So, things are looking good. Let's tick time on. Hang on. Quick check of Mara. Mara is still a bit grumpy with us. Uh, oh, but we don't... Hang on a minute. Right. Uh, the bakery appears to be a bit on fire. Uh, are we able to get somebody down here to put out the fire? I mean, the fish pies are going to... They're going to have a lovely, you know, f fresh, lovely uh, sort of charcoal glaze to them, I feel. Which is... Yep, some people might like that. That's probably not great, is it? How do we put that out? Also, just keep an eye on that. We didn't put it out. Okay, that that's the answer to that there. We didn't put it out. But we have offered some fish and meat to Mara. Does that mean that she's a bit less grumpy? Not really, no. Not really. Um, right. That was quite bad. I think what we have to do is get the bakery back in because otherwise people are going to get furious at the lack of pies, and I completely understand that, that's fine. And then, get another little fire thing in over here, because there isn't one. So pop one in, just there actually. Right, there we go. So hopefully that will keep that bit safe from burning down. A lot of these houses are grading, I am concerned about the lack of resources. Be good if it told you what the problem was. Um... Yeah, they use 15 units of clothing per day. What? Really? What are you doing with all this? Oh, we've got 21 money, though. We've got 42 gold. Oh, we've got so much money. We're so very rich. We have about 20 workers available, so I think maybe let's get another market in just to make sure that people can get the goods they need. So if we could put the market there, that'd be quite good. In fact, yeah, that'll do. Pop it there. That's okay. So that can now hopefully give people the stuff they need. Uh, and then we might need to look at getting some more things. I mean, more grain would be quite good. More fish. We're going through so much fish. There are so many people here now. Oh, no. Oh, we're annoying. Oh, we're annoying many gods. We're not making the gods happy. Okay, can we do a thing in here to go and sort of pray to a god, possibly? Hire additional workers for a gathering. Gathering efficiency goes up by 70%. It will cost 50 gold. Uh, we need to save the gold up. In fact, do you know what we're going to do? We are going to raise taxes just so we can get some more gold. Okay, so there we go. Lovely shiny coins. Everyone's a little bit grumpy with us now. But a week's worth of gathering taxes. People are going to be a little bit less efficient for a week. But that's okay. Time ticks by pretty quick. Because I think we have to go and have us... Oh, 250 money is what we need. We need to appease the stern Mara with sacrifices. But that's going to cost a lot of... It's a lot of money. Okay, okay, right. We can't do that. Um, what else can we do with these houses? Yeah, those have gone back, look. Um, it's just meat and the pies and the clothes. So, I mean, yeah, do we get another... Get another bakery? I think we need another cereal field. That would probably help. Um, yeah, pop that in back there just to get some more cereal, so we can use that to make more bread and such like. Oh, yes, okay, I know why we're going through fish, because we've got all the the fish pies that we're making, isn't it? Get two more fishermen in. Hopefully that'll help out a bit. And then a road coming down here. There we go. Right, so some more grain and fish coming in, so that thing can keep making pies, which is good. Do we now need to get another one of those in to make double the amount of pies to make everybody happy? Would that be good? I still want to get a fairground in. I've put that one the other way around completely on purpose, not because I didn't spot that it was the other way around. We might need another house just to get a few extra people in. It's not perfect, but it might have to do. Okay, do you know what? Pop one there for now, and then get a road coming in like that. 
We'll kind of have it a bit like that, look. So we can get another house there, possibly some more houses along there. Somebody will move in, I think. It's got a little sign on it. Oh dear. Okay, right. We've annoyed one of the gods. We've made Mara, the pale god, a bit grumpy. Sorry. The displeasure of the goddess of death and disease is not something to take lightly. No, no, I, I don't think you're messing around with that. Your people are plagued with sickness. Make sacrifices in Tamara to end the plague. Oh, good. Right, so fishing is going to come down by 40%. Buildings are going to get more contaminated. Everyone's going to get a bit diseasy. And we're going to drink a lot of water. Oh, dear. That's going to last for three weeks. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. We are going to struggle. Yeah, we've really upset. We've upset. We've upset quite a lot of the gods. The gods are really not very happy with us at all. Okay, right. Two weeks until that goes right. We've gathered all of our money, but still, it's not very much. Okay, who who are we looking like we're knowing? Veles. Can, can we do a thing for Veles? 200 money for Veles. Oh, dear. Uh, buy and distribute food to the poor. That's quite nice, but it costs 100 money. Uh, oh dear. Okay, do you know what? We're going to have to put up with the fact that everyone's going to be a little bit poorly for a while. Hopefully people can, you know, sort of muddle through and not die quite a lot. But yeah, cereals are coming down. Fish is coming down. We have got a few pies and we have got some clothes and we are going through the hides, I think, to make more clothes, which is no great surprise. But yeah, all those numbers are going to struggle whilst all the stuff is coming down, while people are just working slowly. That's probably a bad thing, so... Okay, okay. What we could do, though, we haven't got a meadery in. Can we get a meadery? Because, hang on, we could build a fairground. We can build a fairground. Right, let's get one of those in. Let's put that in over here, look. Near all the other houses. Pop a fairground in. Yay! Oh, no, there's a fire. Who put the fire in there? Okay, right. Fire beside a wooden building. Not a good move. But hopefully people are happy. There you go. Desirability. People are quite happy with that building. And that's all good. Okie doke. Right, now we have to do is just, you know, not get struck down anymore by a very vengeful god. The god of death. Oh, hang on. Our paths are upgrading, look. They are changing from dirt paths to stone ones. Oh, that's exciting. We're getting better at doing paths. And I'm not doing that. I'm not saying upgrade the paths. It's just kind of happening. I wonder if they're just working on it because they've got some stone or whatever. I don't know. Right. Meadery. Can we get a meadery in? Are we allowed one of those? Oh, we need tools. Right. Okay. We need tools to do that. And the Seeker of Sacred Stones prepare sacred stones dedicated to the gods. We possibly should get that in. Hang on. Let's get some smeltery stuff going on. An iron mine. Okay, yeah, let's do that. That's got to go up here. Oh, that's iron. Okie dokie. Right, pop that there, because that's already on a road. Right, so now we can get some iron. And then from the iron, we're then going to have to get a smithy, because that turns the iron. Hang on a minute. Hang on. What? What's that getting out? That's getting out... Oh, gets our actual literal bars of iron. Oh, okay, right. So we don't have to turn it. It's not iron ore. It's literally just iron. So the smithy then takes the iron bars and turns them into other things. The wrath of... This is quite bad. This is quite bad. We're annoying quite a lot of the gods. The patron saint of animals is not revered in your town, and he refuses to provide his assistance. The woods are quiet, empty and dead, frustrating those who make a living there. Oh, dear. Right. Hunter efficiency down. Pig slaughter efficiency down, animal population down, building contamination rate up by 40%. This is going to end badly, isn't it? When you annoy the gods, it's generally a bad thing. Okay, right, so everything is going wrong. We're also going to be annoying another god very soon. Indeed, that one's furious. That one's furious. Deceiver. Life and fertility. I mean, what can we do to make you happy? Hang on, do we need to build a thing to you? We can't because of the lack of hides. And we can't get any hides. Because the other the, the animal god is grumpy with us. Oh dear. Uh, okay, I mean, this is... It's not it's not going great, is it? It's not going overly well. But we're going to muddle through. We're going to muddle through as best we can. Although we also don't seem to have any logs anymore. We've gone through our supply of logs. Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks assemble. Just put, put another one down here. That'll uh, put another one there. And a bit of a road. Can we just please get some more trees? Mara is still very angry with us. 
That's another three weeks of water consumption, uploads and disease rate high and contaminated buildings and bad fishing. Oh, dearie me. Um, okay, I mean, we're offering, we're offering fish and meat, Mara. We're giving you lovely delicacies of you know, raw fish and raw meat. I'm not quite sure what else we can do apart from one of those edict things. One of these. We could do a fertility festival in honour of Deceiver. That might be possibly get them off my back hang on we might have to do that because otherwise they're going to be grumpy with us and then they're also going to hit us with a load of negative things okay do you know what everybody it's time for a fertility festival yay for stork letter writing okay we're gonna do that yes please uh, oh botherations i press space bar to unpause time there's a message on the screen right that's ah right that's placated you a little bit so Deceiver is now not quite so angry with us. We're still not quite to the point where we can become a village, but we're going to get a lot of grain. Grain ripening rate is up. Baker bakeries are more efficient. We're going to gather honey and we are going to consume 50% less water. Oh, that's really good. Okay, that's helpful. We like that. That's a good thing. Um, right, what else can we do? What else can we possibly get up to right now that's going to help? I mean, yeah, look, we're going through so much wood. We're going through a lot of wood, but we do need to be a smithy. Um, okay, where the change? Oh, fishing efficiency down by 20%, but the grain ripening rate. So, okay, so we're going to be really good for grain. Going to be amazing for grain, but bad for other things. Um, yeah, smithy. We need to make... The smithy needs a... What's that? Bricks. Oh, they're tiles. Right, okay. So we have to make fancy tiles so those buildings there can have lovely fancy roofs. Okay, so we need a tile workshop in. That's quite big. That's quite a big structure. Um, where can that go? Can we put it there? No. Uh, we'll put that there, look. So get the tile workshop in. It's not got a negative thing around it. Um, in fact, you know what? It should go over here because the clay is over there. Can we put it just there? So now we can start making some tiles. And then with the tiles, we can start making other things. Right, so get a smithy in, uh, and then we've got a smithy, we've got tools, and then we've got tools, we can make a meadery, and then when we've got a meadery, right, you're a bit grumpy with us, sorry, and when we've got meadery, we can start making, yeah, some nice mead, obviously, because that comes from the meadery, that's a good thing. Um, okay, maybe we should also make Veles's idol, possibly make one of those. Let's put that, I mean, over here, look, near the, near the woods, that would make sense. Pop that over. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. We could build it and now we can't. Hang on. Pause time. Pause time. Now we can because... Oh, it's logs. Uh, okay, yeah. Pop that there, look. So now we've got that. So we need to load that with logs and skin. And hopefully that'll make him a bit happier. Though it doesn't seem to work very well with Mara, to be fair. She is quite cross with us all of the time. Um, that building is a bit unhealthy. Hang on. Do we need to get another barbers in? So the people working the iron mine can get their hair cut. Seems a bit weird, but okie doke. Um, I, th I think, I think things are going okay. We are lacking a bit of meat. I mean, I say that. I, I think things are going okay. The wrath of the goddess of death and disease. Yeah, maybe things aren't going quite so well as they could be. But we have got a decent amount of gold. So possibly at some point we could try and do one of these. We need 250 money. We need a huge pile of cash. Is it worth doing that again for a week? Just to upset everybody. But it might mean that the goddess of death isn't angry with us. So if you could, you know, put your hands in your pockets and just generate a teeny tiny bit of money, that would be quite useful. Not enough resources. Okay, another hunter thing is required. Of course, they're not going to be working very well because the goddess of hunting or the god of hunting is a bit grumpy with us. Put that there. There's some woods over there. Plenty of workers... It's just, yeah, these great big kind of negative things are hitting us pretty hard. They're not helping. Okay, right, never mind. We'll, let, we'll muddle on. We'll struggle on. I would like to, if we could, get the get a meadery in. I just like the fact that we've got loads of honey and stuff. We can make quite a lot of mead, but we just sort of can't quite do it. However, we can now make a smithy. Okay, so put the smithy in. I mean, put that there. That'll do. Pop that in right there. So there's a smithy that can make tools. 
and then with tools and the clay for the roof tiles from there, we should be able to build a few more of the fancier buildings. Okay, the weaving workshop appears to be on fire. I think maybe that's a bit of blaze. Yep, there we go. A little tiny bit of fire happening in there. Hopefully, we should be able to put that out. I mean, there's a fire station right there and five people work there. So I'd like to think that we should be able to extinguish that fire because there's people that work right there. No. Okay, okay, I'm not quite sure what we, I mean, do we pay them? I'm not quite sure what we, what we have them for. Because, I mean, they were right there. That is five people, five, hang on a minute, five people over there. It's surrounded by fire safety measures, yet it burned down. Good job, folks, good job. Okay, right, hang on a minute. I don't know if we can build another one of those. Pause, hang on, pause time for a second. That was a weaving workshop. No, we need a tiny, tiny bit more wood. Can we get 20 logs? We're on 19 logs right now. Still on down to 16. It's, hang on, no, nope, it is. Ah, there, good, right, hang on. Pop that back in. So yeah, we'll have another one of those, please. That can now continue to make clothes, which is gonna keep people happy, which is good. We've got six tools. Okay, so now can we finally, at long last, make a meter, seven logs. Okay, run time on nice and quick. Come on. Oh, hang on. No logs. Brilliant. Okay, it's going well. Everything is going fine. It's all good. No logs again. Other stuff is looking okay. 209 money is not too shabby either. So hopefully, 218 money. Hopefully, we should be able to do one of the sort of, I don't know, parties for the gods and keep them happy. Maybe that one. Maybe Mara, because Mara is still quite grumpy with us. Hang on. Meadery. We can build a metery. Let's put it over here. Let's not put it there because the game says no. I think we put it just there. Look, it's next to the fields. It's all fine. So pop that there. We finally have a metery. We can get some mead, everybody. You can get a tiny, tiny bit drunk on mead. Hooray! Life is going to be wonderful. It's not tea, for which I do apologise. So you're going to have to put up with the mead. But yeah, it's better than nothing at all. Um, I think we might need to get another cesspit. Well, because there's a lot of there's a lot of contamination. Although this doesn't help, does it? Contamination rate up. Yeah, that's not helping. Oh dear. Okay, well, hang on. Cesspit. Five logs. Give us another log. One more log. No more logs. No. No more. I just want one more. Just one. No. Now the logs have all gone. Brilliant. It's going very well. It's all fine. Okay. So the bad news is that we still don't have enough logs to build ourselves a lovely brand new poop station, which is a bit unfortunate, but we will get there in time. We need one more log. So we should be able to get that done. However, the good news is we now have enough gold to go and throw ourselves a great big god party, which is good. So we can either spend 200 on a party for Veles or 250 for a little party for Mara. I mean, I'm thinking really we should appease Mara, because Mara is the god of death and harvesting, and she is quite cross with us. And as we've said, it's probably a bad idea to have the god of death being a bit grumpy with you, so maybe we should do that, although Veles also doesn't like us very much at all. In fact, Svarog is getting to the point where they're a bit cross with us as well. Okay, right, hang on. Which has got the most kind of damaging sort of effects? So Mara, water consumption rate up, disease rate up, building contamination rate up, fishing efficiency down 40%, which would explain why we don't have any fish at all, despite having a great big load of people whose job it is to go fishing. And then Veles, building contamination rate up 40%, animal population in the forest is down, pig slaughtering efficiency is down, hunter's efficiency is down. I mean, they're both bad. They're both bad, but that one is affecting fishing and also, yeah, building contamination and disease. So maybe if we do that, if we appease Mara and it holds possibly we might not need to build another cesspit thing because sanitation should kind of increase. Do you know what? We're going to go for that. It's more expensive, but I think it's probably the right thing to do. So, okay. Boop with that, please. Apply. And there we go. Sacrifices for the stern Mara. So I assume it's a load of meat and whatever else. So there we go. Okay. Pause time. How is that looking? I mean, it's not moved it much. It shuffled it out of the red, which is quite good. But then, yeah, when that's done, is it just going to come straight back? I don't know. Oh, Mara's condescension. Butchers up. Pig slaughtering efficiency up. Food consumption rate down. Disease rate down by 50%. Oh, that's quite good. Okay, right. So maybe now we should start seeing some fish coming through finally. 
maybe now there you go three whole fish okay right i mean yeah it, it's not great it's not perfect but it's better than it was ah right okay i was wondering why the meadery wasn't doing anything and yes it needs honey which we have lots of but also it needs tableware it's got to have somewhere to put the mead i assume in like jars or bowls or pots or jugs or whatever so okay right so we need to get some tableware how do we get tableware game where exactly is that is that going to be a crockery workshop okay so to get a crockery workshop we need 10 lots of iron okay i imagine the iron goes straight into making tools which is possibly a little bit of an issue hang on how much is it to get another iron thingamabob in where is it um iron where where is it where's the mining stuff it's around here somewhere okay there is 15 logs okay that's our current problem logs are the current issue we don't have much in the way of logs um okay that might be a problem that might be a problem we've only got well, up to 11 hang on up to 11 logs up to 13 give us another two down to 10 that's that's not what i asked for game we're on 10 come on give us some more logs just a few just a smattering of big bits of tree. It'll be glorious. 12. Come on. And down to 7. Right, okay. No, that, that's not going entirely equipped. And back down to 3. That's not working at all well, game. Oh, and now Svarog is grumpy with us. The smith god has turned his back on your village. And your craftsmen suffer the consequences. Oh my goodness me. Worker movement speed down 40%. All production efficiency down 40%. All gathering efficiency down by 40%. Surely that is going to completely annihilate everything. People are moving slower, and then also as well as moving around significantly slower, they're doing 40% less of everything. Oh dear. Okay, right. I sense that's going to be quite a bad thing. Um, how much money do we need to make Svarog happy? 300. Oh dear. Okay, right. I suspect maybe that's not going to work entirely well. We're a little way off 300 gold. Okay, we finally have enough logs to make another iron mine. The smithy looks like it might possibly burn down, which is quite bad. Um, okay, can we get another one of those in? Can we fit that in somewhere? Um, no. Can it fit up there? No. Can, hang on, it fit just there? It might, hang on, it might be able to fit just there. But we are going to have to take down whatever that is. We're going to have to remove a fire station and a well. Which is probably a bad thing. That's probably a bad call. Where could we replace those? I mean, one could go over there and one could go over here. But then we're going to have less logs to do everything else. Oh, botherations. Okay, hang on. That's what we're going to do. So get rid of those. Fire station and a well. Let's get those in. It's all going to be fine. Right. Fire station is 10 logs. So that's going to have to go over there. And then a well, replacement well is eight logs. That needs to go there. And now, do we have enough left to build the thing in the first place? So hang on, now get the iron mine. Okay, this, this is all fine. This is all fine. This is how you build a Slavic settlement. It's perfectly working in every way. Right, okay, so now we should be able to get some more iron. The only thing is, I can't quite recall what we needed that for. It was, it was the crockery workshop. There we go, it was that there. So yeah, okay, so that needs ten... 10 iron okay come on we're nearly there just a couple of bits and then we can get some lovely lovely crockery on the go right okay 10 bits of iron crockery workshop you're going in and hopefully it's all going to be fine uh we'll just put it there we'll put it right there it looks quite nice in terms of the building it's quite nice lots of pots out the front that's always a good sign that's good um other things I mean, there's quite a lot of warnings quite a lot of warnings gone maris furious yeah that didn't last very long did it very soon we are going to be in the bad books of all the gods and i imagine that's going to make life very very difficult indeed oh dearie me um okay no right we're going to muddle through because now we've got some crockery and if we have crockery we can make some mead finally and that's going to be a good thing then we can have mead and it shall be glorious so yeah we need some tableware we need three lots of tableware and then we can finally get that going we can get the Meadry spring into life and doing some stuff. Yeah, you're a bit grumpy with it. It's fine. All the gods are grumpy with us. They're grumpy gods around here. So, um, yeah, tableware. I mean, where are they putting that? Contamination threat. Oh, dearie me. It's all not looking good. We should have made some tableware. We should have made some. So I'd like to think it should be going into there. Has it gone into here? Um, yeah, redistribute the tableware out, please. Because that needs to go out to other places. Right. Okay, oh, there we go. One lot of tableware went in. Okay, so loads of honey, 
not quite so good for pots and things, but okay, we're getting there. So soon enough, we're going to make some mead. That's what, that's what I want to do now. I just want to make some mead. It's not tea, but it will have to do. It's, it's a nice drink. I do like a nice mead. So, okay, fine. Here we go. Let's get that done. Hang on. What was that? What's that? Oh, it, oh, it's like smell. It's smell coming from the thing. Oh, no, you're still grumpy with us. That's not going to help either. So it's going to take a long time for the tableware to get there. They're going to make it slower. It's not gone well. Okay, let's just get that done. Oh, and now the building might possibly burn down. Well, isn't this just wonderful? Come on, just move some pots and pans into there. Oh, there we go. There we go. I think... Have they just made some mead? Yes. They're making mead. Oh, it's a glorious day. Look at that. One lot of mead out of five made. Come on, make another bit. Two bits out of five. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, finally, we've got some mead. We're making use of that honey that we started gathering many, many, possibly months or years, or whatever ago. Oh, and now Mara's unhappy with us as well. Right, currently, three of the gods are unhappy with us. Deziva or Jiva, possibly, isn't quite unhappy with us yet. She seems okay, but all the others are a little bit grumpy. Velis is absolutely livid with us. I'm not quite sure what we're supposed to do. Other than build their little kind of sort of shrine things, what else are we supposed to do? When I mean, we're giving them all the things they want, I mean, do we just keep earning money and doing their little kind of party things? I mean, that is quite tricky. 169 money right now. But on the plus side, we have got some mead. So yeah, that's quite good. Yay for the mead. Do you know what though? With that done, with some mead finally in the settlement, after all that time and effort, hopefully people are enjoying it. So with mead now going around the place, we will wrap things up for now with our little look at Grimgrad. I think we have had a pretty good look at the game to see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, yeah, this is the sort of survival sandboxy mode. There is a little sort of story mode that you can play, but I think from what I gather, it just kind of introduces you to various little bits of the game as you go along. And I think we have played enough games like this in the past to kind of get an idea of how things work and what you're supposed to do. I mean, clearly we're not doing things very well because we've made the gods absolutely furious. In fact, Jiva there, or Jiva, how we pronounce it, is going to get very cross with us very soon. I mean, if, you know, if I just keep talking enough, possibly we could get, you know, get the lot. We could get the full house of angry gods. It might be worth doing. Do you know what? We're going to run time on nice and quick and just see if we can't annoy all four of the gods. Won't that be a fun thing? So I think we have seen enough of it to kind of get a good idea of what the game's all about and what you're supposed to do and all that kind of stuff. You're grumpy with us now as well. And Joe, you know, it's okay. It's okay. I don't think it's doing anything particularly new. It's not doing anything kind of revolutionary in this kind of thing. Yeah, you know, it's a bit like, so yeah, it's got that sort of idea of banished and that kind of stuff. It's you know, similar to things like that. But yeah, that's no bad thing. That's no bad thing. And I do like the fact that we do have this kind of thing here. We've got the sort of gods coming in and you try to make them happy. And if you make them a bit cross like we have, then there's going to be negative effects. And you do have your little kind of edict things here as well to just try to make things a bit better. I do like that, and there's different things. You can make the gods happier, or you can get your sort of your production up and all that kind of stuff. So you can do many things. But yeah, it's okay. It's okay. But it is a standard sort of you know, fairly difficult, I would say, to master sort of yeah, settlement survival type game. And that's okay. Although, although, look at that. Some of our buildings are upgrading. They're upgrading. Oh, we hang on a minute. If one more upgrades, we could possibly become a village. If we get six more people in, we would become a village. Th there we go. A rich settlement attracts attention. People arriving even from distant lands. Thank you, winged orange wolf smargle character there. That's wonderful. Um, There we go. Even though the gods are all completely furious with us, we have somehow managed to get to 254 people and have fancy upgraded houses. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. I'm absolutely... Oh, there you go. Look, it was the mead. It was the mead all along. Well done, mead. It was worth waiting to get you in, all the complications. We got there in the end. So I think with that done, and with everything looking pretty good, we can leave our little village behind, because it's now officially a village, which is good. And we'll say farewell, and we'll wrap things up for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. 
said, and I will see you next time. It's got spinny bits on it. It's got whooshy bits coming out of the spinny bits. Whippily wavy round science cylinders. And there's the sun. I can tell that's the sun because it's the hot thing in the middle. It's not a good day for science. It's not a good day to be a scientist. It's almost like I shouldn't be put in charge of running a gigantic spaceship that is the last hope of mankind.